everyone! I hope everyone's doing well today and going to be having some fun scrapbooking. I want to do a quick tutorial on using glitter. I have a friend of mine who wanted to know how to use glitter on pages, specifically how do you get it on there, how do you make it stick. Because we all know the rage having glitter on pages. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but it's all glittery on there. And you can snazz up your ordinary paper that you have with glitter. And then you don't have to pay necessarily the high price that you would in the store for sheets of the paper. Okay? So you can get yourself some glue. You, um, I actually have a friend who does professional cards for a living. She gets anywhere from $15 up for doing handmade cards. Um, and she uses actually just plain white glue. You can go get um, special glue too. There are some brands that even have what they call glittering glue, which has a fine tip. Okay, You can use the fine tip so you can get into the details of your page. I'm just going to move the camera down here. My pattern actually has dragonflies on it. And I'm simply going to take my applicator and pick out a dragonfly I would like to highlight and simply just put the glue where, over it where I want it. Okay. You can highlight one area of your page or you can do the whole page just by simply following the design that is already on there. You could also be more daring and you can go ahead and make up your own design if you like on there. Make sure you shake up your glue. I didn't do that before I did this. Now I'm paying for it. Some glue needs to be shaken up. All right. Here we go. Simply put the glue where you want it on your page. I'm going to make the wings glittery too on this guy. Sometimes when you've had your glue for a while, it can end up getting stuck in the tube. You can go ahead and stick a long safety pin end in there, you know, the pointy part to get it out. Or you can, if it's a wider nozzle, you can use a paper clip that you've unbent to stick in there to unclog your hole there. And there we go. Just add some little drops on here. And then you simply take your glitter. This is a really pretty blue. So you should be able to see it really well. And all you have to do is sprinkle it right over the area that you want your glitter to stick to. And don't worry, I know it looks like there's a lot of glitter on here, but you know, don't worry about that. Okay. And that's all you have to do to get the glitter on there. You can buy little trays that have a hole in the bottom, or I should say on the side, bottom side. Or you can do what I do, as I simply take a piece of paper, I fold it in half, and then I sprinkle the extra glitter right on there. Just tap, tap it off. Okay. Sorry, I should probably do it this way so you can see it. Tap off your extra glitter. You can see there's my dragonfly is now glittered up on there. And all you have to do is take your container that your glitter was in, take the piece of paper that you pre-folded, and tap it down into the crease, and simply pour it back into the tube that you had it in. That way you're not wasting any glitter or other um, things you could use. Oops, I set up. Just tap it back in there. And as I say, there's no easy, see there's still a little bit in there, there's no simple easy way of not getting glitter all over the place. So just be prepared that whenever you use it, you're going to end up glittering for a little while. But that's always fun. Okay, if you don't feel like dealing with loose glitter and getting glue, you can also go ahead and buy glitter that is already done for you. Glitter glue. Here's glitter glue. You can see different kinds of it. This is a more 
professional type for scrapbooking and card making, paper crafting, it's acid free, non-toxic. Uh, you can also find them if you want to use it with your kids for projects, you know, Crayola makes glitter glue, they even have different shapes like stars, of course that's much bigger glitter, this is fi ultra fine glitter, or very small glitter, and they come in a variety of colors and simply cut off the nib and put it on there however you want. Um, in the next blog I'll be doing, using glitter part two, I'll actually be showing you how you can get perfectly straight lines with your glitter and other neat shapes. So stay tuned and happy scrapping!